Welcome back to my build series, X-Men and 5th Ed D&D. I've now made videos for 10 X-Men heroes, namely the original 5 of Cyclops, Jean, Beast, Angel, and Iceman, as well as some main faves of the animated series, those being Wolverine, Storm, Rogue, and Gambit, and finished out with Professor Xavier. That's 10 out of 100 builds that I'm going to be doing, so what I have done is arranged them into sets of 10, each one being a season of the build series. Between sets of 10, I'm going to be sharing data overall and providing a look at what will be coming next. Which reminds me, guys, it would be tremendous if you would subscribe to the channel and help me make this whole project as awesome as I know it can be. This series is kind of a perfect example, having the D&D and comic stuff, but also a time lapse of my art, but my passions can be kind of varied. I've got the X-Men build series, of course, but we'll sometimes do deep dives into specific games. I've just been all through F7 Rebirth clips and I'm looking next to uploading Marvel Ultimate Alliance series videos as I have a lot of backlog that I could make content for in a way that doesn't really exist anywhere on YouTube. As this channel grows, a private Discord where viewers can join multiplayer sessions and games like Ultimate Alliance, as well as D&D one-shots with the X-Men builds is definitely on the table. So if any of this sounds like your thing, make your voice heard in the comments and please subscribe because I'd love to have you. First on that recap though. I've made this chart that covers the 13 classes of 5th ed D&D, and each season I'll be adding up totals of how much each class is used, since multi-classing happens more often than not. Each character is filling in how many levels they took in a given class. For season 1, the results look like this. As you can see, the most used class turned out to be Monk with 47 total levels, with 3 multi-class characters having a majority of levels in it. This was closely followed by Sorcerer, who had the most number of characters in it, with 4, one of them being a full 20, but another one being a single level dip. Barbarian and Rogue were almost not used at all, just being a 4 and 3 dip respectively, and Artificer, Druid, Fighter, Paladin, and Ranger were all not used at all this time around. Each season, I'll compile that set of characters level spread and add to this graph, which will eventually include 100 characters. So, what naturally follows doing the 10 classic heroes is to do 10 classic villains, but they aren't just prominent antagonists, they are specifically the brotherhood of evil mutants, and in addition to detailing their builds as individuals, I'm going to be highlighting how they can optimize as a group and stand a great chance of defeating the X-Men, with great potential as a DM-led challenge to a player group. The first video will be out soon, starting with a certain blood rival of Wolverine. There's a lot to look forward to, and I'm excited to share it. This is going to be it for now though. As always, thank you for watching. Pick a side, pick your poison. Pick a side, pick your poison. Pick a side, pick your poison. Ain't no picking on me, y'all about.